What's up my friends? In this video, I will introduce you my homemade mobile phone that is capable of making and receiving calls and SMS. I interface GSM module SIM 900 with Arduino Uno microcontroller. I also used a display to visualize GUI interfaces, I selected new NextGen TFT Intelligent LCD touch display. So the 2.4 inch NextGen display, displays everything like normal mobile phone. You can make calls, receive calls, send an SMS and receive an SMS. If you are interested in making yours, this video guide will show you, how to build and upload the source codes to get your project up and running. This is a fairly straightforward project. The official sponsor of this video is NextPCB. NextPCB is one of the largest PCB prototype enterprise in China. They offer high quality multiple application PCBs at very reasonable price. They are a high-tech manufacturer specializing in quick PCB prototype and small batch PCB production. They have large-scale assembly unit with advanced and equipment, strict management and superior quality. If it's your first order you will get discount, the discount code and Gerber file link is given in description. But now let's get with started with the project. So, now let's see what we need for this project. First we need a microcontroller. So I used an Arduino board. We also need a GSM module. So you can use either SIM 800 or SIM 900, anything will work. As discussed earlier, we need a next-gen display as well. So here is the display inside this box. Let me open and show you. So, this is how the board looks. The board has an inbuilt microcontroller and a flash memory too. So it has 4 pins for connection as it is a UART module. NextGen adopts a new and easy way to interface any of your projects through UART. It's easy to use configuration software. NextGen Editor allows you to design your own interfaces using GUI commands and makes the pieces of your development effortless, in turn you can save lots of program space in Yo. your MCUs. Thanks to NextGen. So this display has a memory card slot on the backside. Here you need to insert the SD card to load the GUI in NextGen memory. So, here is a SD card and a card reader. Insert it in the USB port of your PC. Then you need to format it. While formatting please select FAT32. So formatting is done here. Now you need to copy this file into the SD card. This file has a extension of .tft and is generated through NextGen Editor. Now remove the SD card after copying the file and insert it into the slot of NextGen Display. Now connect the VCC pin of NextGen Display to 5 volts of Arduino and ground to ground. And then power up the Arduino via USB connection. Now the content of SD card is copied into the flash memory of NextGen Display. That's all. Now remove the SD card. And again power up the NextGen Display. Here you can see a beautifully created GUI. We will use the same graphical user interface with Arduino and GSM. Let us see the circuit and connection now. Both GSM and NextGen display a UART module. So connect the SIM 800 module with TX and RX of Arduino. For NextGen display we will use software serial to interface with Arduino. We will use pin 10 and 11. Supply GSM module with 12 volts and Arduino with 5 volts. So this is simply the same assembly as you can see here. Here is the code now. This project is also a great example of how to use Arduino especially for string and character handling. It is also an opportunity for you to get acquainted with the new NextGen TFT Intelligent LCD Touch Display and using AT commands for the GSM module. Simply copy the code from the link in the description. Select the right board and right port and upload it to the Arduino. So the code is uploaded. Now you can see the GSM module has started searching for the network. 
so it will display initializing. Once network is found, it will display the operator name. I have used an Airtel SIM but it's showing idea. Now let us make call my dialing a number. You can connect the speaker and microphone to GSM module to listen and speak. Now you can make an SMS too. Similarly you can receive call SMS as well. Thank you for watching.